Welcome to a new life with Woody. Good morning, everyone. So I'm sitting here in Jay's driveway. Just pulled up a few minutes ago. Uh, today's judgment day for my homie. He's going to turn himself in. Get this chapter over with and on to the next. But today's going to be a sad day. You know, especially for his family, his wife and kids. They're going to be, you know, really sad today. You know. Yeah, I'm going to be sad too because, you know, that's my dog, man. But, you know, he'll pull through. He'll be stronger. You know, he'll have time to reflect and get his mind right. And he'll uh, be back. You know, his little saying... And I'm back. Yeah, he'll be back. But I'm going to go in here and uh, talk to him now. I guess we can hear a, a, a little bit of his words this morning before he, you know, goes to court. I think we're getting ready to go get something to eat. But anyhow, stay tuned. I'll be back in a few. Much love. Deuces. Beautiful, ain't it? Say something, man. What up, what up? Good morning, good morning, man. It's that time, so let's get it over with. It's been in this mood all morning, but you know what? It's bigger and better things, man. <sighs> Gotta be. It's difficult, man. Definitely is, man. Got to go on and explain this to that little boy. He knows. But it ain't nothing nice, man. It ain't nothing nice. It's a whole different ball game when you got a family. Definitely. So, I hurt for them. I seen it when I walked in, man. Yeah, man. I'll be all right. It's just them. Sucks. I'm going to post all your information once we get it, how people can reach you. Yeah, bro. All right, y'all. Much love, man. Salute. What's up, everybody? So I stepped out here on Jay's deck, giving him some time with his family. The last closing moments, we're fixing to leave for court here in about the next 20 minutes or so. It's really somber, you know, as it should be. You know, I just want to give him some time. Just the last few moments with his wife and kids. You know, really broke my heart as soon as I walked in today. His son came down the stairs and just ran and jumped into his arms and broke down. And it, you know, I just couldn't imagine that, man. I just could not imagine what that little boy and his little girl are going through. You know, gotta be strong. He's gotta be strong, man. You know, like he said, he don't care about himself. Yeah, it's making me tear up too. He can't, he ain't worried about himself. He can, he can do that, it's just his family. But I don't know. I'm still hoping for a miracle, something the judge rejects it and says, no, you know, and lets him come home. You know, it is April Fool's Day. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to happen, nor does he. <sighs> so beautiful, so peaceful out here. Anyway, I'll be back in a few. After court, I'll give you all the update. What's up? Much love. What's up, everybody? So I'm home now. Uh, almost a three hour drive back. So what happened in his court date was they accepted the plea agreement that they had worked out. So ultimately he got sentenced to five years, 
with four suspended, one to serve, and they took his license for 90 days. They did recommend work release, but the judge said that it will be solely upon the institution where he goes to see if he's eligible for that. But all parties are on board. Um, it's just, you know, mind blowing. On the ride back to the house to get my car, you know, his wife was just so distraught and I felt so bad for her. You know, and uh, I just know that she she's just going to be losing it for the time being. So y'all please keep her, the kids and Jay in your prayers, please. The kids, they're taking it. They're taking it rough. You know, his son was just so distraught this morning. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be getting his information hopefully later today. And I will post a video with all of his information uh, where y'all can reach him at how to get in contact with him, his inmate number, uh, the name of the uh, emailing service that they use at that jail so y'all can keep in contact. He would like to hear from y'all. But yeah, it's, it's heartbreaking. You know, I don't know what I would do if I was in that situation, you know, leaving my family because, you know, I left them for 22 years and I can just not picture me doing that once again to them but anyway i am taking over his channel for him i will be posting videos he has like a montage of videos that you know he's taken over the last like month i'm gonna sort through them and edit them out and uh upload them to his channel to uh give y'all a glimpse of his last remaining days you know free but i thank each and every one of y'all for your support it means a lot to me, and uh, yeah, y'all know my model, motto. Much love, and let's do this together. Deuces.